Hi everyone, my name is Aneta and welcome to Be For Balance. Today's my first video on whole plant-based lifestyle cooking and baking. And I've decided to start off with our favorite to go to dessert and snack, a healthy vegan black bean brownie. Now to start off, you need your food processor. You need to start your oven at 350. And to start off with the ingredients, we need about, we need one can of black beans, rinsed and drained. And you put this in the processor. Then we add half a cup of almond butter. These brownies are so delicious that we don't make it often, but we do make it when we crave chocolate or want a nice, nice chocolatey dessert or even a snack. We take a quarter cup of almond flour, quarter cup of cacao powder, We have now some sugar, so in whole plant-based cooking, where we use maple syrup, maple syrup or date syrup. And for this one, I chose maple syrup. There's a quarter cup of maple syrup that goes in here. Then we have two tablespoons of applesauce. We've got one tablespoon of vanilla, vanilla extract. We got a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And half a teaspoon of baking powder. So all this goes into the food processor. And we are left with some walnuts, some chocolate chips, and some cranberries, dried cranberries. And I have a bowl here for mixing after. So let's start off by mixing this in the food processor. So it'll be a little noisy. We're just gonna check if everything's mixed in and it sure looks good so now we're going to take take this out take out the blade and put it in a separate bowl and then put everything in there Now I've noticed every time that I make this recipe, it doesn't always come out the same way. There's always either the beans had more liquid in them or something. So it really doesn't make a big difference whether it's a little thicker or a little more liquid. The important part is how good it tastes. And it has not, it has not failed us in that department of how yummy it is and how satisfying it is too. Well, you try to get everything out of there. So, just to take as much as we can out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put, a, it's a third cup. I would just put a bit in there and leave some out for the topping. Also some, a third cup of cranberries and a third cup of walnuts. And I just, I remove about a third, a, a two thirds. And the rest I leave it for the topping. So it's just a gentle little, 
stir of all the ingredients. We mix them well. And we have here our pan and I use a silicone pan. It's easier to remove the brownies from there. And we just go ahead and just put that in there. And then we'll just spread it around. Let's just sprinkle the walnuts. The chocolate chips, the vegan chocolate chips. And I try to have as much possible the uh, organic ingredients when I cook. So I either find them on special or, or I just make it a point to buy organic. Some of the cranberries. And there you go. We have here our brownies and we're going to put them in the oven. So depending on your oven, in my oven it's about 20, 22 minutes, 23 minutes, but it could be 25. It's recommended to check it with the little pick. If it comes out gooey a bit, then just leave it for another minute or two. But technically it should be still a bit moist when you, when you touch it. And there we have it, nice baked brownies. So I'm just going to cut them. I already cut them in the pan, so they're ready. They've also cooled off for a bit so that they're easier to cut. And here we have it. Here is the yummy brownie. And... Mm, 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 mm. Simply delicious. Now I hope you enjoy it and I hope you make it. And let me know how it turns out. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you.